Thank you very much, everybody, for, for coming today. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, it's a pleasure to be able to introduce a little bit about our maison uh, that we uh, that we started several years ago with my two brothers, actually, uh, about 15 years ago. And we uh, we create we decided really to create our own visions of of what great champagne should be. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really interesting that you are here with you and you, with, with us because uh, it's a very confidential production uh, made uh, with passion, uh, made with love, love for wine because uh, uh, basically so we are I'm from uh, the Champagne family, from the Petager family uh, and so we have been born and raised with the passion and the respect for Champagne uh, for, uh, and I'm actually very honored to have my uncle uh, Michel Tetanger with, with us uh, today. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you so much for, for being with you. <laughs> and um, so, just to give you a, a, a long story short about our, our, our productions. So, when we, we start Frère en Frère, we decide really to create our own uh, visions of, of, of champagne uh, by, by coming back to really the wine uh, and we love to treat champagne like wine and I really believe that uh, champagne first is an amazing wine um, so really we decide uh, about 15 years ago actually we decide to create these productions by being focused you know on quality and excellence so we decide to, 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 to put a lot of discipline uh, to create a wine a little bit like in Bourgogne, you know, when you focus really on the terroir, on the land, on the, on the, on the quality. And we have the, the, the chance to be in Aviz. I don't know if you heard about Aviz, but in case you, you don't, I would be very happy to invite you, all of you actually, to, to come to Aviz and to discover a beautiful uh, terroir. Because Aviz is one of the greatest terroirs in, in Champagne. It's in Grand Cru. Uh, it's a small village, but beautiful. Uh, with, and uh, we have the chance to have some nice little parcel uh, in Cramont, in Avis, in Auger. So the whole idea of Champagne de la was also to um, decide, okay, we are going to make a wine without any kind of restrictions. It was just a production for the friends and the family. Uh, really confidential in the whole idea of like making our own wine uh, without any kind of restrictions, you know. The whole idea is to say, okay, we are going to, we believe that a good champagne should be a bit, a bit more mature. So we age our champagne a minimum of five to eight years, sometimes more actually, sometimes 10 years, sometimes uh, almost 20 years. <laughs> um, and so maturity for us is a key thing to a good champagne. Uh, and actually, the, the Brut Premier Cru that you are trying now uh, is, is our main cuvée. You know, it's so important to have uh, the main cuvée need to be excellent. And so we put a very high level of uh, discipline to create this, this Brut Premier Cru. This Brut Premier Cru is 50% uh, Pinot Noir, 50% Chardonnay. So it's a combination between uh, the two most elegant uh, cépages, I think, uh, in Champagne. And the, the Pinot Noir is really about the, the it's a masculine cépage, uh, about the structure, you know. And the Chardonnay is much more feminine, much more warm. Uh, and um, so someone said today, I think it's you, is like um, the two cépages are like um, making love <laughs> to create like a, a, a wonderful wine. Um, the combinations, the harmony is really important to, to, to have a good champagne. You need a good freshness a good warmness, and uh, this is what we are trying to do. So, when we start this champagne, uh, we, we had a, a lot of chance because we met Didier Pierson, and Didier Pierson is our chef de cave. Uh, Didier Pierson is uh, a brilliant uh, son of Aviz, uh, as I say, uh, of Fort Aviz, and so he is like, you are, you are really from Aviz, and, uh, and you are the fifth generation of, of wine producers. and. Uh, Thanks to you, Didier, uh, we have been able to create these visions together. And it was a, a long process uh, because we start to release the first cuvee actually in 2012. 
to the uncertainty. So we, we, we took all this time, uh, we wait all this time to to uh, to, to release uh, those beautiful cubes. Um, so I, I I hope that you are going to appreciate this lunch. Uh, I think you you will see we have uh, um, did some nice experience with a food pairing, a champagne pairing, uh, with this lovely restaurant, uh, and you will see it's a so it's a Japanese food. And I really believe that uh, Japanese food match very well with our, with our champagne. Actually, I just come back from Japan with uh, Didier, and uh, we're working very well with some very nice uh, 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 place, a sushi chef in uh, Kyoto, in Tokyo. And uh, so it's a, I think the Japanese food is, is very nice because it's a, it's a food for precision, uh, for very elegant. And our, our champagne go very well with this. Kind of uh, so uh, I, I, I thank you so much really for, for, for being here. Really, we really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I really hope that you are going to have a, a nice experience. Uh, and uh, you, you want to do maybe a quick, or we, 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 we're going to, I think we are going to go to the table. And uh, we will we'll introduce day. you a little bit more about uh, oh, yeah. technical yeah. wine. Let's, let's go. Thank you very much.